wood frame, steel, or concrete, that'll actually drive the grids and columns that are generated here. So I just click generate. The model will, will generate a layout for me. And so if I go into the floor plan, you can see I have a, I have a grid here in place. And these spaces are tagged as actual real units. So you'll see I have a corridor, I have building cores, and I have the, um, the living spaces, which you can see are organized into a unit mix, telling me which spaces are of which size. Um, but I have full editability, so if these cores don't really make sense, or I don't really want to have a core in the middle, I can just delete that space, modify the walls. So the whole idea is that, yes, we're generating, but we're also giving the user full control um, over it. The design ultimately is theirs, right? So we have a combination of layouts that can be automatically generated, as well as full control over that design. Um, and then we're also looking at different input types. So, um, in, in, in addition to just like the model being the context, we can also use the um, Autodesk Assistant as a prompt to help guide the design. Um, and we're also experimenting with things like sketching. So if I draw kind of like a level of trace over here, and I can draw a unit in here. And the model's gonna interpret that as a core. But if I just say generate a new layout, it's gonna lock that as a core. And then the Autodesk Assistant is going to interpret my prompt, use that locked element as context, and then generate a new layout around that. So the idea we're moving towards here is the idea of sketching as an input as well to help guide the AI. So what? So the, the, the assistant is making a plan based off of the context and my prompt that it's going to then execute on that plan using our model as to be able to fill in the spaces in, in that are um, to be generated there. This will take another 20 seconds or so. So it's using generative AI to complete the new layout with proper spaces and circulation.